Nate here at Viking Masic US headquarters in Newtsburg, Wisconsin with another quick tip video. Today I'm here with one of our stick pack machines, the ST600. Today I will show you how to set up its slitter blades. In this video, I will show you how to determine the proper width to cut your film strips, and then I'll show you how to place the slitters to cut the film strips to the correct location per stick lane. The slitters for the machine are a series of rotating knives that cut the sheet of packaging film into strips for the individual stick lanes of the machine. Our stick pack machines come in a multitude of sizes and configurations to meet our customers' packaging needs. From the smaller introductory ST400 to the colossal ST1200, the slitting assemblies for our stick pack machines all share common components and the core functionality of the slitter assembly remains the same in all of our stick machines. But first, before we dip our toes into the film slitting universe, it's time for the safety notice. Before performing a repair, be sure to follow your organization's standard operating procedures for safety, lockout, tag out, and personal protection equipment guidelines. Do not perform work in the machine compartment of an energized and initialized machine. Do not bypass any safety switches or relays. Failure to use caution while working on the machine by not using adequate safety procedures could result in injury or death. Only authorized personnel should perform machine repairs. Viking Masic cannot foresee every instance where possible machine damage or an injury could occur. Work on the machine at your own risk. If you need assistance, schedule a service visit by one of our authorized technicians with the number at the end of this video. Let's get to it. First, before we start moving the slitter blades around, we need to figure out how wide we need to cut the film strips because this determines how far apart we place the slitter blades. Let's do some math together to determine how wide our film strips need to be for a stick width. Film strip width equals our stick width in millimeters multiplied by two and then adding 10 additional millimeters for the seal area. The 10 millimeters at the end is the width for the standard five millimeter fin seal multiplied by two for both sides of the seal. For example, if we have a 23 millimeter former to make 23 millimeter sticks, 23 millimeters times two equals 46, plus 10 millimeters for the seal area makes 56 millimeters. Our film strip needs to be 56 millimeters wide to make a 23 millimeter stick. Cool thing, if you take it one step further and multiply the film strip width by the number of stick lanes on the machine, that gives us the needed width of the film roll. For example, on a 10 lane machine running 23 millimeter sticks, 56 millimeters times 10 equals 560 millimeters. We need 560 millimeter film roll to run 10 lanes of 23 millimeter sticks. But I digress a little, back to slitter placement. A way to double check our needed measurement is to measure the distance between stick former lanes by picking a spot on one stick lane and measuring it to the identical spot on the lane next to it. This distance must be the same as the film strip width. One sure path to insanity is to slit your film considerably narrower than the distance between lanes and then attempt to make a good stick. Write down and hang on to the strip width measurement. We'll use that in a little bit for step three. Step two, measure to find the center point between the middle two forming lanes. This point is where to place the middle slitter on the mounting rail in the slitter assembly. On most machines, the center point between the middle two forming lanes is the center of the machine without the electrical cabinet attached. It is also the center point of the hopper if you have the integrated Viking Masic auger filler, the center of the slitter assembly, and the center point of the middle two formers. Find the best way to measure and find the center point for your machine type and configuration. Mark this center point on the slitter assembly's mounting rail with a pen or marker. Check to ensure its accuracy. The placement of all other slitter blades will rely on this mark. Step 3. 
Using the center point mark as a reference, place additional marks on the rail gapped at the distance found in step one. These marks will be where we place the rest of the slitter blades. For this video, the distance is 56 millimeters. Measure 56 millimeters from the center point marked in step two on the slitter assembly's mounting rail, and then make another mark at that distance. Do this on both the left and right sides. Make additional marks 56 millimeters from the mark before it for the number of blades you have on your slitter assembly. All marks should be gapped 56 millimeters apart in both directions from the center point for all the slitter blades on your machine. If everything is measured correct, this should place a mark directly in between each stick lane. Step 4. With the slitter blades disengaged from the anvil roller, adjust the placement of the slitter blade by loosening the two 5mm socket head bolts at the bottom of the blade assembly that clamps the assembly to its mounting rail. Slide the assembly to the needed position, then tighten the bolts to lock it in place. Be sure to line up the marks with the blade tip, because the tip is where the film slitting magic happens. Step 5. Re-engage the blades and check your work by slitting some film. Adjust as needed. Well, that's how you place the slitter blades. I hope this video helps you out. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe to be alerted of future videos from the Viking Mason crew. Until then, love life and happy packaging.